Hi my beautiful Pisceans! How are my mermaids and mermen doing? It is B. Welcome to my channel Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Also thank you for your patience. I had a lot of unexpected developments that came up that I had to attend to but I am doing my best to get these video out, videos out hopefully before the 4th of August. So thank you again for your patience. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your views, your comments. You guys are beyond the best, okay? For those of you that would like to donate to my channel, I do have a support button. So if you would like to donate, it's there for you, okay? Um, if you would like to purchase a reading with me, please go to my website at www.psychicsoundsbyb.com and all of the scheduling instructions are there. Once again, I do apologize for the fan noise. I am getting a new laptop, so that will be rectified hopefully uh, as soon as I purchase a new laptop here probably within the next week before Mercury Shadow starts acting up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started on the reading. I am going to uh, give you a reading for August of 2016 for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising, or if you have a lot of planets in Pisces in your natal chart. Um, I'm going to start off with Saturn, and I'm actually going to give you um, some statements or some sentences out of a Johnny Cash song, and it's called Folsom Prison. Now, some of you might be aware of this song, some of you may not. But I am going to change one word in this song to really kind of hammer home the types of energy that Saturn is bringing with it as it wakes up. It is in station right now. This is the time where Saturn is really going to put the hammer down. If you have been of the highest integrity, you will be rewarded. You will be revealed the truth. You will be able to find the path that you have so desperately been trying to find. Okay? For those of you that have not been of the highest integrity, that have not, you know, uh, been, you know, or, or that have been like cheating, coercing, lying, manipulating, um, keeping things hidden from people, not letting people know the truth, whatever that is, that may come back to bite you. You may regret it. You may have remorse because of it. For some of you, you may lose uh, very special people out of your life because of it. Okay. Now, for the majority of you, I'm, I'm sure that you are of the highest integrity or you wouldn't be watching these videos. So, if you are of the highest integrity, expect to get rewarded. Even if it's just very small, incremental rewards, you will see it. Okay? For those of you that have not, you will see that you have put yourself back into karmic debt and you may have to repeat lessons over and over and over again until and you will be tempted to you will be tempted to okay to live that same exact rut that you've been living up to this point but when you get confronted with those particular energies again now you know what you need to do now you know you need to stand in your integrity now you know you need to say no or you need to say yes depending upon what that is uh, in particular for you so here's Folsom Prison here we go I hear the karma train a coming and it's rolling around the bend and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. Basically what that means, guys, is that if, if we take Johnny Cash as the person in the song, he was in Reno. <clears throat> he was having a good time. He was maybe drinking. Maybe he had alcohol. Maybe he was high on drugs maybe he was just trying to be too egotistical maybe he was trying to push his weight around okay and maybe he was goaded by his friends to do something that he knew he shouldn't have done but there was something in him that said I'm just gonna do it just to see if I can get away with it but the thing about Saturn is you can't escape karma alright so I shot a man in Reno. This could be anything. This could be you went outside of a marriage and you cheated. This could be you lied to somebody. This could be where you manipulated a situation so that it went to your advantage. Okay. Pisces, you can manipulate energies so you don't get hurt. 
as long as you are not creating karma okay you can do that but you don't want to manipulate people and the energies around those people through lies and through uh, false statements because when you do that you reap karma okay so that's how that works all right so let's go ahead and let's get started on your other planetary positions here the sun pisces is in your sixth house of health and workaday duties you are going to be put in the spotlight as it relates to your health and as it relates to your workaday duties this is going to be something that is very important for you you are actually addressing something as it relates to your health or you are addressing something as it relates to work this is something that is in the spotlight and is being illuminated for you so you can address it once and for all and utilize it to your advantage so put your best foot forward don't put energy out there that you want to be recognized for being you know an emotional wreck you want to put energies out there for being stable for being emotionally intelligent for being diplomatic and for utilizing the strengths that you have to serve your highest good and the good of all mercury is in your seventh house of business partnerships and romantic partnerships in this particular case uh, pisces you have a lot of uh, communication as it relates to partnerships in your life now for some of you please remember if you are going through a cycle of attracting people that are of the same type and you just want to get out of that rut you are going to be lambasted even with new people or with old people that are of the same fabric when you find out that they are of the same fabric or for example for some of you Pisces out there you might always get hit on by married men and it's like you might always want or they might always want you to be the mistress and before you would do it because you thought well maybe he'll fall in love with me or maybe she'll fall in love with me you have to stop the cycle so when you get addressed under that context you need to tell somebody thank you but no thank you and you need to do so in a very kind manner because it needs to stop you need to stop that energy from coming in you need to tell the universe it's over I want somebody in my life that's going to be there for me I want a committed partner I want somebody that's available I want somebody that I can show off I want somebody to show me off okay you don't want more of the same okay so that could be what's going on with some of you Pisces out there as it relates to business partnerships the same thing live in the present create the reality that you want so that you can manifest that reality in the present in the future so you build on that reality and that is what manifests for you as time passes okay Venus is going from your sixth house to your seventh house so there was a lot of loving energy potentially small financial gain as it relates to your business as it relates to your workaday duties as it relates to your health you might have been given almost like I just heard like a get out of jail free card okay so there might have been a scare you know with your health or a scare with something that you had to change and you're taking efforts to change it but it's really hard because bad habits are hard to break okay so you're going to be subjected to that energy over and over again and Venus is here and she's saying you can do it you can do it it's don't worry about the outcome stand in your integrity your value your worth your 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 priceless don't undersell yourself Pisces that's what Venus is saying here in this particular area of your chart and then um, Venus and you might be a little bit lazy with working out too so let's just be honest Venus likes to lay around and eat bonbons all day uh, then Venus is moving into your seventh house of Virgo and um, in the seventh house of Virgo this is all about your partnerships your romantic partnerships your business partnerships with Venus here and I believe she just is starting to move in there um, and I'm recording this on the third so you are getting love and you are getting a lot of attention in your business partnerships and in your romantic partnerships you are coming across 
as someone that everybody wants to be around at work you know in your romantic relationships in your social engagements everybody wants to be around you they just are gravitating towards you just accept it okay but you will also get people that are not of the highest integrity and you must use your own emotional intelligence and your intuition and your gut to know whether or not they stay in your life or you just simply need to turn around and walk away Mars is in your ninth house going into your tenth house Mars is also moving uh, pretty quickly it will be out of shadow I think I think in about a week and a half or two weeks and um, in your ninth house there's been a lot of stop start in your ninth house of foreign people foreign lands uh, higher education the occult people politica you thought it was like four steps forward three steps back three steps forward five steps back I mean it was just this massive stop start stop start okay you just couldn't get a handle on it so this is for um, more of you Pisces towards the end of your sign so born between you know March 12th to about March 18th or 19th even 20th if you're a cusper but um, you had just enough time to get Mars Mars's traction in this ninth house area and you will have the passion you don't want to be overly aggressive you want to be passionate you don't want to be overly aggressive though in these ninth house matters all right so you do have for probably about the next week or two you do have a lot of good Mars energy behind you especially if you're in the last deacon which is I believe it's yeah March 10th to about March 20th okay and then Mars moves into your 10th house with full traction okay so Mars um, is already entering Sagittarius but you're gonna have some residual stuff from Scorpio okay but Mars is moving into Sagittarius already moving into Sag so you're gonna get this this taste of traction and passion and aggression in your ninth house at the same time as you're getting traction aggression uh, with Mars as it relates to the 10th house of career and status so you've got a lot of rocket booster va -voom, okay in your 10th house of career use it to your advantage don't be overly aggressive okay and as it relates to your status you might be to a point now where you're so passionate about bringing in the right people in your life whether you're married or not it could be friendships it could be you know your status is your status whatever that status is okay you want to be surrounded by the right people and you are literally I mean I can definitely sense that some of you Pisceans out there you're you're literally dumping people left and right because they're not meeting your standard okay so this is the energy that comes with Mars you know and this is the energy that comes with all of that that value that integrity because you do have as we talk about here for the next planet Uranus is going retrograde in your second house of self-worth self-value the money you make from the company you work for the money you make from the business you own you are instead of getting unexpected developments coming at you as it relates to your self-value and the money you make from the company you work for the business you own you are creating the unexpected changes from within you and people may just be blown away at how all of a sudden this Piscean person is not only standing up for themselves but they are standing up for this, themselves in such a way that they look like royalty okay that could be what's going on for some of you out there I've already talked about Saturn Saturn is in your 10th house of status and career remember what I said lessons while Saturn was retrograde you were getting a massive amount of lessons the truth was being revealed boundaries were coming down you had to make choices and decisions based on the reality of the situation whatever that reality was in your house of career and status okay you made that decision if you stood in your highest of integrity Saturn is going to reward you after the 13th or between like probably about the 10th and the 20th you're gonna see the rewards small rewards incremental rewards but they'll be there 
And for those of you that haven't, you are going to see karmic debt. You're going to have to repeat the cycle over again for years, 20 years. You don't want to do that. Get yourself out of the rut. If you're someplace where you're not happy or you're where you're miserable or where you're sacrificing your self for predictability, you got to go, Pisces. You got to go. Let it go. Because when you stay in energy that takes energy away from you, that is completely contradictory to your own self-value, that is contradictory to what it is that you want, what it is you want to create, you're never going to be able to create what it is that you desire, what it is that, you're, that, that your mind is envisioning when you're surrounded by energies and you accept those energies that treat you the complete opposite. You don't want that. Okay, so you're creating changes from inside of you. The new moon is on the second. And this new moon is in Leo, so there might be a significant Leo energy around you for whatever reason. And for you, this is in your sixth house of career and status. So there might be a Leo person that is of significance for you in this particular area of your life. And make sure you set your intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. The full moon is on the 18th of February. And it's approximately four days before, four days after. This is in your 12th house of healing, psychic abilities, clandestine affairs, romance, research, hospitals, subconscious, unconscious. There is something culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end as it relates to these particular energies. For some of you Pisces out there, if you have been in a clandestine relationship and you are just freaking sick of it, you are ending it, no questions asked, have a nice life, see you later. These are my standards, you don't meet them, bye. For others of you out there, if you are in a clandestine affair, that energy will be with you and it will be very hard to escape it. Okay, so if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. If you don't want it, then you've got to reject it because you've got to let universe know what it is you want and that has to match what you're doing in action as well as in thought. They've got they've, the heart and the head have to match with the actions on the outside. Okay. For some of you, you might actually be um, getting over a very rough health issue. For some of you, you might be um, finally ending a really bad habit or or something that was toxic to you. Okay, this is a good time to do it at the full moon and say enough is enough. You know, I'm finally letting this go. Okay, so very very good, Pisces. Especially with that new moon in your six, you might have started a new workout routine. You might have started a new diet. You might have started. Um, a new way of living so that you're respecting your body as as opposed to disrespecting it so that could be for some of you out there so let's go ahead and let's get started Pisces on your tarot reading all right okay Pisces let's see what we've got going on here what are the general energies for Pisces for August of 2016 Pisces August of 2016 Pisces August August 2016 general energies what do we have going on for work life and financial life Pisces work life and financial life there we go what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life Pisces emotional life and love life emotional life and love life what do we have going on for your uh, general health Pisces general health what is your general health Pisces general health Oh, nope. I got too many cards there, guys. General health. Here's your general health, Pisces. And as you know, I am, um, I'm going to be building a story around these cards as well. So not only will they apply in that, sp that specific area for you of general energy, 
work life, financial life, emotional life, love life, and general health, but it will also develop a story and I'll connect all of the cards together in a manner that makes uh, hopefully the most sense to you. All right, so what is your advice, Pisces? What's your spiritual advice? Here's your advice. What is your challenge? This is something that's gonna be very hard for you to deal with, Pisces, and it's something you need to address. So you need to embrace the advice that you're given and you need to address the challenge, okay? Here's the challenge. So what do we have going on for your Archangel Guidance, Pisces? Archangel Guidance. Here's your Archangel Guidance. Okay, so let's see. What have we got going on for the general energies for Pisces for August of 2016? Pisces, for August of 2016, you have the King of Wands. There is potentially a, a fire sign male that is very significant in your life in the month of August of 2016. This could be a masculine female as well. This could be a Sagittarian, a Leo, or an Aries person. This could also be Pisces, you going through a massive transformation. Okay, The King of Wands is all about transformation. It's all about creativity. It's all about taking action. Okay, so there is something for some of you Pisces out there that you are taking action with, and it might be transforming yourself. So remember what I said, there are going to be people around you, Pisces, that are just going to be blown away by the fact that you are not only transforming, but it's, it's just like I said, I mean, it is the King of Wands, it's royalty. It's like you're really treating yourself like a queen. You're treating yourself like a king, okay? You are demanding that this is how you are treated. And if you are not treated that way, you are taking off, okay? If you are treated that way, you will treat others that way as well, okay? So this is really passionate and creative energy, all right? So for some of you Piscean females out there that like men, you've got a fire sign male. For some of you Piscean men out there that like women, you've got a masculine fire sign female. Uh, for those of you that are lesbian or gay, just use that as well. Males and males and females and females. So this is this is what's coming up for uh, some of you uh, Pisces out there. Not bad. Transformation is always good. And if anybody can go through transformation, it's a Pisces. All right, so what have we got going on with your work life and your financial life? With your work life and financial life, Pisces, you have got so many irons in the fire, it's like ridiculous. And it's interesting, because I, of course, as you know, I am a Pisces, I feel that way as well. I have got so much stuff going on. I mean, I do not like being late with these readings. I like to get them out at least five days early. And it, it just, it just didn't happen. So what you're doing is you are trying to fight off distractions so you can focus, so that you can focus on yourself, so that you can focus on your own transformation, so that you can put the passion and the creativity out there for the whole world to see. For some of you Pisces, this is drawing a line in the sand. At work, some of you Pisces are so emotionally intelligent, but you lived in the world of emotions at work. Now it's different. Now you are corralling that creativity and that passion in such a manner that you are no longer going to be just sending smiley faces and making everybody happy. It's not about that. It's about you making you happy. It's about you getting what you need at work so you can do your job. Okay, you're done taking on everybody else's projects. You are holding people accountable for those particular tasks that they should be completing. And there is no discussion. Period. The end. You've been carrying departments, companies on your shoulders trying to make it work while everybody else is just sitting back, you know, at these meetings thinking that they've got nothing to do because you're the one doing all the work. Okay? Put the ownership back on them, Pisces. Put the ownership 
back to the people, those subject matter experts that need to own that particular aspect of the project or of the job, okay? They get a paycheck, they darn well better earn it. You don't have to, you know, do their job for them. It's, that's done, okay? So this might be that transformation you're going through. For others of you Pisces out there, um, as it relates to finances, you're drawing a line in the sand with your finances. You are done. It's almost like you're going out and you're, you're, you're giving yourself a budget. And instead of going out there and saying, oh, I like this. And oh, I might never find this again. And oh, I like this. I like this. And then you get to the checkout counter and it's like $2,000 in shoes and clothes and purses. Okay. Or, or fun electronic gadgets. Okay. What you're doing now is you're saying, I can buy one very valuable item or I can buy three not so valuable items. Okay, you're really looking at whether or not what it is that you are purchasing is going to serve you. Okay, in some way, shape or form. All right, for some of you Pisces out there, you are trying really hard to stay on top of your finances. For some of you Pisces out there, you might have people coming up to you asking you for money, asking you for your services for free, okay? That could be what's going on here, Pisces. Don't give it energy. Just don't give it energy because Pisces is a natural giver. Pisces generally sacrifices themselves for the good of others. It's time for you to pull that energy back, Pisces, and start standing up for yourself and drawing that line in the sand and saying I will not be taken advantage of anymore not with my finances not at my work no matter what it is I am standing my ground and that's all there is to it all right so that could be what's going on for some of you Pisces out there you might be drawing a line in the sand with this uh, with this fire sign too okay so that could be uh, what's going on there all right so what have we got going on for your emotional life and your love life, Pisces? Pisces, in your emotional life and love life, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Pisces, this is an earth sign male, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or this is a masculine Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo female. Okay, so as it relates to your, your emotional life and your love life, this person is a little bit slow to move forward. Okay, so this particular person, if you do have an earth sign that you're interested in, they're not going to move fast. You've got to be patient, but you've also got to progress forward. So for some of you Pisces out there, you might be saying to this person, you know what? You're not meeting my standard. And my standard is this, 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 and this. And I love you. I care for you, but that that doesn't jibe with my standard now if you I don't want to change you I, I don't want to make you something that you're not but I'm giving you that open communication to let you know that this isn't meeting my standard and if you want to go then you're gonna to have to go but if you want to stay this is these are what my standards are you either accept them or you don't okay so that might be what's going on with some of you out there. Um, as it relates to some of you Pisces out there, you might have um, a fire sign and an earth sign that are trying to get your attention and you are you are battling them off. You're you're trying to you're trying to, you know, keep them off with a stick. I mean you're trying to just, you know, keep them at bay. You you for some reason, these people might be coming back into your life. And maybe they were gone for a little while. And now you've got other things that are going on in your life. And you're saying, you know what? I, you didn't want me then, so why would I accept you back in my life now? I mean, what's different? You know? For some of you Pisces out there, for a small percentage of you Pisces out there, these, you know, maybe this fire sign is... Um, is trying to, or maybe he's or she, masculine, is, you know, kind of beating you off with a stick, or this Knight of Pentacles is beating you off with a stick. It's possible. Or it could be that there is 
a line being drawn in the sand from both of you, okay, or from all three of you. I mean, one of these, um, one of these characters may say, you know, I know for a fact you're seeing other other guys or other girls. It's either either you and me, or I'm out of here because I want a committed relationship. Okay, so that could be what's going on. You could actually like both the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands, and you're trying to keep it organized. Okay, keep it keep it organized and and you're trying to make sure that passion doesn't overtake the mind because the passion and the emotion has gotten you in trouble in the past so what you're doing because we've got these are wands these are passion it's creativity you might be having an earth sign or a fire sign that just want to get with you that just want to you know have sex with you and you're like no that's not what I want that's not part of my standard Okay, so some of you are definitely going through tests right now. As it relates to those of you that are happily married, you your eye is definitely on the money. Okay, you are mesmerized by the money. Okay, so for some of you Pisceans out there, this is, this is something where you're looking at real estate. You're buying a new home. You Some of you might be traveling. Okay, some of you might be... Uh, you know, potentially, I don't know why I just got this, but buying a horse ranch, it's possible. Okay, there is a horse here. And um, it might be taking a lot of time to get that purchase to go through the bank, but don't worry. Just let it, let it ride, it'll go, it'll go through. Okay, so there's something about your relationship, Pisces, in a happy and loving bond where you know, you might be getting offered some money or they might be getting offered some money or something like that so that you can start on a new creative venture. Uh, for some of you Pisceans out there, this Knight of Pentacles may, may, for a small percentage of you, may be coming to you with a gift. They may have bought you a gift. They may actually be proposing marriage or they want to propose marriage, but they don't know how to do it. So they're just kind of standing back. It's like it's like they're looking at rings and everything or, or whatever. And it's like you're, you're in a happy relationship or maybe even you just met them. And it's like they're already thinking about the long term. Okay, so that could be the type of energy that is around you at the present time in your emotional life and in your love life. So what do we have going on with your general health? With your general health, Pisces, you do have the Eight of Cups. This is very interesting. Um, this, I believe, is also what the Aquarians got. So some of you are definitely um, Aquarian Pisces cuspers, all right? So for some of you Pisceans out there, you are walking away from both the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles because they did not meet your standards. When you drew the line in the sand and you said the truth and nothing but the truth, they didn't come through and you're saying, I don't care that I've been seeing you for seven months. I'm out of here. I don't want to be in a relationship with people that lie and deceive. Period. It's not acceptable at any point in time in a relationship. It's just not acceptable. All right. For some of you Pisceans out there, you are walking away. That relates to the story. You are walking away from, as it relates to health, bad habits, drinking. Um, you are walking away from very bad energy, bad emotional energy, because it has exhausted you, because you always had to defend yourself. You always had to do all of the work, and you're tired, and you're zapped, and it's time for you to go. All right, I got that message earlier too. Okay, some of you, might be leaving an earth sign and you're moving towards a fire sign or you're leaving a fire sign and you're moving towards an earth sign okay that could be because the thing is about the eight of cups this is your decision this is your choice and you know what you've built is no more and you are already on your path towards something or someone else 
okay Pisces that could very well be what is happening in your life at the present time okay but as it relates to health there could potentially also be where you were on medication for a very long time and your physician was saying just keep trying it just keep trying it it'll kick in just give it some time and you're putting a lot of money in this like this um what do i want what do i want to call it it's like um a cosmetic drug i don't know why i said cosmetic but a, like a cosmetic drug or a um a drug that is name brand you know and you're putting all this money into it because it's more out of pocket and you're saying you know what it's not even helping me I'm quitting cold turkey I'm out of here I'm telling my provider I'm going off this medication I don't want it anymore you know find something that's a little bit more affordable that um, that will at least get me through what I need to get through or deal with whatever it is that I'm dealing with okay so Pisces you're walking away from something you're definitely walking away from something Pisces this could also be a small bout of depression it could be for maybe one or two of you but I'm not sensing its depression and the reason why I'm not sensing its depression is because you've got all this creative and transformative energy you've got all this grounding energy and you're standing up for yourself so in this particular case I believe that this is Pisces saying enough is enough I'm not dealing with this energy anymore I'm out of here okay so that could be what's going on here as it relates to finances as it relates to work okay you are walking away from responsibilities that are not yours to hold don't take on the ownership of other people's responsibilities it's not for you to do people are taking advantage of it you've got to start standing up for yourself okay that's at work if you're retired you may have been um, putting money into you know a high-risk yield or whatever and you're like you know what I've I've lost some money I've got some left there is some left I do have I still have a good nest egg but I can't take this high risk anymore I've, I've got to put it in a more in a, in a safer spot is what I'm hearing it's like you're putting your money in a safer spot okay and for others of you this goes back to what I was saying before you know the days of you going up to a cash register with two thousand dollars worth of shoes purses and clothes is over okay you know it's a bad habit and you know you need to quit because it's affecting your bottom line and it's affects, it's affecting your health and your welfare all right so just be aware that that energy is out there for you now could this be somebody else walking away from you it's possible but again I'm not sensing that you know just like I'm not really sensing that with the Aquarians either it was a very small percentage of you like five percent if that okay this is your choice to move away from some really bad stuff good for you Pisces good for you so what have we got going on for your spiritual advice sorry dreams blaze that trail that path directly to your dreams Pisces you know what your dreams are you know how to get there you know what you need you know what your standards are you should know what your standards are you live in that standard and you live in that integrity and I guarantee you you will achieve your dreams this is your advice if you wanted to write a book write a book if you have wanted to go on a trip somewhere go live your dreams for some of you Pisces out there you are getting messages through your dreams pay attention to your dreams all right especially at the full moon you have got two full moons in your reading so for some of you Pisceans the 18th is very significant for whatever reason 
okay? Some of you might, like I said, Pisces, Aquarian, Cuspers, um, February, that were born like February 18th, 19th, 20th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, right around there where your Pisces, Aquarian, because the Aquarians got this card too. Um, something significant because we do have that full moon in Aquarius on the 18th. Okay, so just be aware that there could be that energy there. And it could also affect those of you that are uh, Aquarian Aries, or um, Pisces Aries as well, born around the 17th, 18th, 19th, right around there, give or take a couple days. Okay, so what have we got going on for your challenge? Wow, your challenge is fire. It's this dude right here. <laughs> is what it is. Okay. So you might have a fire sign that's creating some type of challenge for you. But remember what I said at the beginning. You need to address it. You need to make it clear what your standards are. Don't show your entire hand, but do show your integrity do show that intuitively you already know what's going on all right this particular king of wands may be wanting to have a passionate affair with you and you have to make a decision regarding that particular energy for others of you fire is a challenge because fire in general is a challenge you might just be very careful around fire so if you have um, a fire stove, like a gas stove in your kitchen, mind that fire. If you've got, um, like, maybe you need to increase your metabolism and it's, it's just difficult for, for whatever reason you're having a problem with increasing your metabolism. This could also be Mars in your 10th house of status and career. So make sure you have the passion Okay, passion is the king of wands, is passion. Make sure you have that passion, you hold that passion, but you don't get overly aggressive. Okay, so that's your challenge, and you can do it, Pisces. So just mind that fire energy that is around you, all right? Because you're going to have to address it eventually. So what do we have for your uh, Archangel Guidance? Life review. Wow, Pisces. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced, Pisces. I've been saying it the whole reading. If your inside doesn't match your outside, you're going to be here. All right. When your inside matches your outside, you're going to achieve this. Regardless of any challenge that comes in your way. Because I will tell you this, nothing can stop a Pisces with a solid dream and focus, perseverance, and direction. There really is just nothing once Pisces, Pisces latches onto a vision. All right, you want to bring in this. You want to bring in the stable energy. You want to stand up for yourself and create the balance. You want to have creativity. You want to transform. You want to walk away from people that no longer serve you. You want to embrace your dreams. You want to be that Pisces that finally says, "Damn the torpedoes! Hit me with your best shot." Because your goal is balance. Your goal is surrounding yourself positive energy, positive people, positive situations. Period. Okay, Pisces, I hope that you like this reading. I hope it helped you out in some way. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.